And here's a little message from a friend of mine. Here's what they have to say on this World Suicide Prevention Day. Hey folks, this World Suicide Prevention Day, we need to talk about women's mental health. Now, did you know that the COVID-19 pandemic's rise in suicides has disproportionately affected women? In fact, new PDRM statistics show that females make up 83.5% of 1,708 suicide cases reported in Malaysia from 2019 to May 2021. And more than half the total deaths by suicide were females aged between only 15 to 18 years. Now, this is deeply troubling as global stats prove males generally die by suicide three to four times more often than do females. However, since the pandemic, suicide rates are now five times higher among Malaysian women as compared with men. So, why exactly is this happening? Well, there's quite a few contributing factors. For starters, women make up a larger percentage of part-time workers in hotel, food service, retail industries, all of which have been badly impacted by the pandemic, resulting in job losses. Worries about income combined with skyrocketing unpaid care work. Now this means taking care of school-age kids while they learn from home, more anxiety about children's health and well-being, plus normal work from home duties. Then there's elderly care duties, caring for sick members of family. Sometimes all of these happen all at once for women. And very importantly, let's also not forget the constraints of MCO, how working from home has affected social life and maintaining friendships with our inner circles. Women and girls have lost a lot of this and more. But in the middle of loss, there is always hope. And I'm here to tell you, it's okay to feel exactly what you are feeling. Most importantly, you are not alone in this. None of us are. Please reach out for professional help and counseling in your time of need if you're suffering, because you have nothing to be ashamed of. Remember, help is just a call away. Hold on. Live on.